We are in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month, celebrating histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Lots of people. Every week, we're bringing you stories of, about Hispanic Heritage Month, showing you how our communities are recognizing, the, recognizing and observing. And there are simple ways to celebrate Trooper Steve's here now with some activities, courtesy of ClickOrlando.com. That's right, ladies. Hispanic Heritage Month runs through October 15th, so there's plenty of time to pick one or all the activities I'm about to talk about. Now, all of them are simple activities, but they can easily make you feel pretty accomplished, and this is all pretty fun. So first suggestion is pretty obvious, but still worth pointing out, and that's supporting a Hispanic-owned business. There are restaurants, supermarkets, or locally-owned business all over the place, so just go check them out, that easy. The next one is something Anybody, and definitely all of us, can get on board with cooking a Latin-inspired meal. Trying out a new recipe is a great way to honor the month, and there's no better day to better day to week than Taco Tuesday to celebrate, right? Well, if you need some recipe ideas, we got a list to help you get started. Just look for the link over in the story at clickorlando.com. Then, of course, nothing complements a good meal like a good cocktail. Many of the countries have a national cocktail or a type of liquor. And then, of course, when you think of a Mexican can drink. A margarita is always probably the best way to think about some nice refreshing Latin beverage. But the national drink of Mexico is actually the Paloma. So like the recipe list, we've included a link of the cocktails for the adults to try out. And if you're serving food and cocktails, why not make it a party? And that means you need the right playlist. A little bit of Selena, Ricky Martin, Gloria Estefan, Mark Anthony. That's how I knew my mom was always cooking or cleaning the house when Mark Anthony was playing. So just some notable artists there. We checked and there's quite a few Hispanic playlists over on Spotify, so get your jam on. And since you're already enjoying some music, why not take the dance classes to go along with it? There's several studios right here in Central Florida where you can cut a rug, try out the flamenco, bachata, salsa, rumba, merengue, tango, and even more. The last thing we'll mention is, of course, the language. There are more and more Spanish speakers right here in Central Florida every single day, so why not sign up for a class to better learn? I do about an hour a day, and I'm making a little bit of progress, right? Not only will it make it easier to communicate with our new neighbors, but you'll be able to be more immersed yourself into the culture while trying out the other activities on the list. There are activities that we didn't get to, of course, so much to do in the Latin culture, so we'll leave that for you to explore. It's all happening right now at ClickOrlando.com. Ladies? 